Ik ben niet. Hello and welcome back to yet another video. Today you find me at London's rather bleak Euston station. Since I only arrived at the station around 30 minutes before my train's departure, I'm not really going to be exploring the station today. Instead, I'm going to be heading right down to the platforms to catch my train. So here is my train today, which is a class 390 Pendolino set. This train will take me to my destination, Rugby. These trains started operations in the UK in 2002 and have been with Avanti West Coast ever since their takeover of Virgin Trains in 2019. So, welcome on board. We'll take a closer look at the seating configurations on board later. For now, I'm just going to head over to my seat, which of course is a window seat. As we are well underway at this point, I think it's time we take a look at our route for today. Now that we're speeding out of London, let's take a quick look around the seat. First things first, the legroom is a bit on the tighter side, especially for an inner city train. There's also a seatback net and a fold-down table, the latter of which I found to be a bit on the smaller side. Moving upwards, there's a QR code you can scan to access the onboard menu, as well as some reading lights. Above the reading lights, you can find a small overhead rack. And the seats themselves I found to be rather comfy, despite not having a recline function. <laughs> Lastly, the seats feature an adjustable window blind as well as a coat hook. Before long, we arrive at the first stop of the journey, and the only stop, for my journey at least, Milton Keynes.
let's take a closer look at the seats on board. Seats in standard class are in a 2 plus 2 configuration, featuring a mix of bays of 4 and airline style seats, with occasional luggage space scattered throughout the carriage. If these seats seem a bit on the older side, that's because I am on a unrefurbished Pendolino train. The newer seats look akin to the seats you'd see on Lumo trains. Nevertheless, I'm still quite a fan of these trains. They're quite cozy and have a nice space age feel to them. And the ride quality and speed of these trains aren't bad as well. Before my trip comes to a close, let's take a quick look at the bathrooms on board. Now aside from being on the smaller side and the faucet's sensor not being exactly the best, they were perfectly clean and everything was in working order. So, as we close in on rugby, what did I think about Avanti West Coast and their Pendolinos? I thought these trains were perfectly fine for the trip I took, but keep in mind I am not a resident of the UK, so I don't have the experience of taking this train more often. Nevertheless, I had a good experience on board, and speaking of which, let's get the price. So, for 52 minutes, which is the amount of time it took for this journey, it only costed £18.60 which in my opinion is fair for a trip this length. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it a bit informative as well as entertaining. If you did, I hope you consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. This is the 4905 here and I will see you next time. Take care.